Well, we are here in northern Finland, in Rovaniemi, um, and we are just on the perimeter of Bear Hill Husky Tours. They very kindly let us uh, set up camp here for the weekend. We thought it would be interesting to try the bell tent, the authentic bell tent, in this kind of conditions because uh, they've never had this kind of tent in snow before, so we thought it would be really interesting to see how it fared. We're dealing with about four feet of snow here, so uh, obviously our snowshoes are really important. Um, but basically last night we came in, we packed the snow down, let it harden a little bit, get the tent out, and then we used the pegs, the same pegs that come with the, with the bell tent. Normally they go into the ground. We actually put them sideways so they anchor into the snow, so it uh, works really effectively and it was really easy to get it up that way. And uh, yeah, we, we also have our stove burning. Temperatures are not too bad right now. Today it's about three degrees, but it can drop down as far as minus 10 at nighttime. So it's really nice to have a nice warm atmosphere in the, in the tent when we're kind of going to sleep. Um, but yeah, this morning we got more wood and came down, melted some snow, had ourselves some coffee, and it looks like it's gonna be a really beautiful day here. So thought it would be interesting to maybe uh, bring you guys out on a little bit of a nature walk and we can see the, the area around here and where we're camping tonight. So. really interesting like we're just out here walking on this snow covered landscape obviously we've got our snowshoes on now but if we were to take these off we'd be up to here in our in snow um, so it's actually quite cool when you see the difference between the summer and the winter time here we're actually on quite a swampy marshland area right now um, and the reason you can tell that is the trees are very very short and stumpy and it's because the saturation levels in the soil they oversaturate when they get to a certain point and then they die. So what you're left with here is like stumpy little trees and that's a good indication that we're on marshland. But if you were here in the summertime, it's actually where the dogs are trained. And they're going through here, there's mud, it's like there's mosquitoes and it's really cool to see how a landscape, especially out here, can change so dramatically between the seasons. And This is like a bearded lichen. And uh, the great thing about these is it gives you an indication that we're in an area that's really clean. So the air is really fresh here. They can only grow in places that have super clean air. So if you're around here and you see this, it's a good indication that you're breathing some pretty fresh air. But these can be actually used as like a field dressing. And um, they're also edible, although they are a little bit acidic, so you have to kind of boil them and make sure that you kind of get those acids out before you eat it. But uh, yeah, it's a re they're really beautiful. And the thing as well, if you notice, there's actually different lichens in here. So on first glance, you might think this is all the same, but there's so many different varieties. So one of the things I love so much about being able to camp in the winter time is being able to read the snow. Like you see animal tracks, you can see the prevailing winds. It makes everything easier, like traveling. It's just a really beautiful time of the year to be able to camp and I think more people should be able to do that. And uh, I think that's a really good thing about having the bell tent is the ability to camp in all seasons. And it would be great to see more people doing that, so. Thanks, dude. It was a fun day. Yeah, it was great. Whew. Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs>